watching the brat. Chess with the brat, yeah. Get a subscriber tap. Chess with the brat. Chess with the brat. Turn around. I play with a bird, and I can fuck up a whole world. She bounce on the dick toes, yeah, I'm not trying to cut out my forehead. Somebody was like, Girl, if I have this big dome of a forehead, don't you think it's going to cut itself out? Like, unless I put my camera up here and there's nothing to sit it up on here. So, like, you want to see my forehead that bad, girl? Ooh! There you go. Welcome back to my channel, y'all. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. You're going to love it here. Um, Literally, all the baddies subscribe to me. I didn't make it up. I'm just I'm just the messenger like before we get into the story time y'all I don't know if you guys watched my last story time where I told you guys about the small business who was a supporter of mine or whatever for some reason when I exported the video it exported without the photos like the most important it literally uploaded or it uploaded without the pictures and the videos or whatever so I wanted to go ahead and tell you guys about it again in this video so her shop on Etsy is called Magavelli's shop I'm gonna put it on the screen I hope I'm not butchering the name Magavelli's shop m-a-g-g-a-v-e-l-i-s shop on Etsy I'm gonna be putting the link as well in my description box or it'll be the pinned comment you guys can also go to my community tab and I have her direct link on the post or whatever as well as the pictures she offers custom ashtrays custom rolling trays and she can make other custom things as well with any design that you want just it's bomb I'm telling y'all it's bomb y'all need to go shop and definitely tell her that Chessa sent you and yeah also a lot of you guys have been asking me where I got my waist beads from just so you guys can know because I am not a gatekeeper and almost every video I get at least two comments asking where it's from. I have two girls that I always get my waist beads from. Beads by Diana and then these beads are from Ayana. Um, putting her name on the screen and y'all have been asking about this necklace as well. This is from Shein. This story time is very very crazy y'all. I can't even deal. Like it's embarrassing but I'm not even halfway. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I'm not even halfway done with the story times about boys like the whole cheating like oh baby i got stories for days when it comes to that like come on y'all i know y'all see how sweated out my hair is i'm holding on to this silk press babe but i did not realize like it was literally chunking because it was so freaking oily so just disregard okay y'all i don't know if y'all remember in the story time the um i put up on my high school op the koala story time at the end i don't know if y'all remember but if you real one then you remember where i said some girls were chatting about me on twitter and one of those girls is one of the girls in the story time and i'm going to get to that towards the end i'm going to put the little clip where i said what i said on the screen either right now or towards the end when i bring it up again that girl made a tweet about me when i popped off on um tiktok and was like it's funny how she's catching cheaters because um she definitely always liked talking to people's mans huh but y'all like literally the last like this happened when i was in ninth grade and this same girl was tweeting about me in 2019 which is literally the year that i graduated like babe and she was already graduated because when i was in ninth grade she was a senior like condos chester has condos in these girls heads like damn so the boy in the story time i was either gonna name him chapped or spit because he was one of those dudes who was always licking his lips and like not in a cute way like i don't even think there's a cute way to lick your lips anymore like this is not television this is not like you're not you're not giving a, a little sexy moment like you think you are but he would always lick his lips like instead of carmex instead of vaseline instead of aquaphor baby he has never heard of them just imagine someone licking their lips so bad to the point where like their lips are as glossy as my lips are right now like but with spit and you know like when you lick your lips that much with spit because i feel like as girls we've all done it at least once or twice for like a video if we didn't have no you know lip gloss and if you didn't do that don't get on me because i definitely did that before but like you know if you lick your lips too much with spit like there'll be like little white bubbles on your lips of saliva like his lips always looked like that he was always licking his lips i know that he thought it was cute i know that he thought that it was a replacement for moisturizer but it really wasn't we gonna name him spit because it was gonna be chat but it's gonna be spit there's two girls in the story time we're gonna name them tubby one and tubby two just because they look like teletubbies like one looked like a teletubby and the other one looked like an athletic teletubby like they both look like teletubbies in the face um 
And yeah, I don't know, I don't remember what the Teletubbies names were, so we just gonna name them Tubby One and Tubby Two. Y'all not gonna get confused because they don't come into the story time at the same time. So, and one of them I was kind of cool with at first, and the other one always was a hater, which is the one that was tweeting about me in 2019. Tubby one was the one that I was cool with, but we gonna get to all that. So I feel like a broken record saying this, but I gotta remember that some of y'all are new. So when I was in ninth grade, like when I was really young, I was boy crazy, y'all. Like I'm not gonna say that I'm not boy crazy at all now, but like I, I was boy insane back then. Like it took nothing for me to develop a crush on somebody. Like I, I would develop a crush on somebody like that. Like I was just boy crazy. Like don't do too much, okay? Don't do too much. My standards were at an all time low, baby. Like for real. Y'all are gonna like, y'all be hearing these stories and be like, Chessa, you were naive. Chessa, what was wrong with you? What was you thinking? Like duh, wh why do y'all think I tell y'all these stories? You think I'm gonna get on here and tell y'all a story about how I was smart? Like, if if I made all good decisions when I was little, even now, because I'd be telling recent story times, if I was completely, you know, well upstairs, if I had all of my marbles, y'all wouldn't have nothing to entertain y'all. Because literally, y'all are entertained by my insanity. So, so boom, ninth grade, I had just moved to the house, the same house that I told y'all about, um, the little bonfire party in my last story time, that's the house that I moved to either the summer before my eighth grade year or the summer after my eighth grade year, but I remember going into high school, I was at a new school, so I was riding the bus with all new kids, stuff like that. Well, not necessarily new kids because I was uh, coming from the middle school that was for that high school so like I already had friends that I was coming to this high school with but you know when you get to high school as a ninth grader there's 10th 11th and 12th graders that you don't know and they be riding the bus too sometimes so I wasn't driving until 10th grade I believe and my mama worked my nana worked my brother I don't know if he was working at the time or not but he definitely was not going to be waking up early in the morning taking me to school or picking me up from school every day so I had to get on that cheese on that yellow bus and go to school. I became cool with Tubby One because she was a senior and I was in ninth grade, but y'all know in high school, when you have classes like drama class, debate class, gym, your classes are obviously meshed with the other like grades or whatever. So I had classes, I had a couple classes with upperclassmen because I had AP literature, which there were obviously upperclassmen in that class. I was in AP debate, so I obviously had, um, upperclassmen in that class i had gym there were upperclassmen in that class and stuff like that so i became cool with tubby one i wouldn't necessarily say we were friends like we were definitely not hanging out outside of school definitely not like getting on the phone after school nothing like that like she wasn't my friend but we were cool like cool enough to be setting the phone up making trailers together y'all know the days where we were making trailers we would make trailers together we would make little snapchats together like on some like you know just cool like we was in gym together i'm not gonna lie tubby one was cool like she was she was a nice girl like she was one of them seniors that was like nice to all the youngins like she was nice to like she wasn't no hater like i did not get no negative vibes from her i thought that she was a cool <laughs> so i thought and she was but i guess like you know this be making girls go crazy sometimes so i guess that's what happened but yeah she was cool tubby too was one of them girls like i'm not even gonna hold you she was on the track team but she also was the manager for the football team and no tea no shade all shade though but not for real because I don't know how other schools work. So you might have been a manager on a football team at your school and that might have been like a whole different vibe. But at my school, the girls that were managers for boys sports teams, usually they were swoops. Hey, yeah. Like, and I don't mean in like a, like trying to shame them because they are just, you know, they like to sleep around and stuff like that. Not necessarily that, like they would, they would indulge in, in things with multiple people on a team type thing. Like they were just, they wanted to be the manager so they can be around niggas all day like that's basically what it was for there's no i don't see the reason that you as a female unless you're just all into football which she wasn't unless and or unless like you're dating someone on the team which she wasn't at first so i i personally would not want to spend my extra time outside of school sitting up around a bunch of sweaty dudes giving them water going to them going to their practices football games all that stuff that's not you know something that i'm into but she was one of those girls she would always give me little dirty looks and she was friends with some of the girls in my grade and like some of those girls that that didn't like me she would be around and you know just side eyeing me and stuff like that nobody touched me so wasn't stunning none of that but like yeah she was just ugh, like so spit 
he was a senior and I would see him around like in the hallways and stuff like that and like he was mutual friends with some of the guy friends I was already cool with that were seniors and stuff so like I would see him in passing we would talk in passing but it was never like we were cool or like we were friends or nothing like that and to be honest I really wasn't stunting him when I first seen him he was just tall and goofy looking like he just looked like a big dummy I don't know if y'all like y'all ever just seen a dude especially like football players that just look tall and stupid like that's how he looked literally they had like a picture of him outside like the the football field or whatever that they have pictures of the star players of the team or whatever and since he was varsity and he was a senior and he was a quarterback I guess that's why he had they had his picture and I don't know the other positions in damn football so the other important players were their pictures were up too but yeah the girls thought he was so cute because he was muscular and tall but like y'all he was a, a calm four if that like he was not cute he was mid but me being in ninth grade and again being boy crazy and him being tall and all that i was like oh he's cute but i really wasn't seeing him at first like he was cool with people i was cool with i would see him woo -doo -woo -doo, but it was like nothing that deep right spit was also in the same gym class that i was in with tubby one but he was in like the way our gym was again i don't be knowing if it's the same in every high school so that's why i'd be explaining it to y'all but my gym class was just regular physical training like we would go to the little track and walk on a track or we would play little games like we would do basketball one day or we would do volleyball one day just it was fun like my class was the regular class and then i don't know if it was just for the football players or like for the athletes but they had like weight training and it was like the downstairs part of the gym where they had all the weights and stuff and they would be separated from us they wouldn't really be in the gym with us other than when we first go in the gym to do the little um what is it called when they call roll y'all know what i'm talking about when they do attendance or whatever and tubby one was in the same gym class as me so i would always kick it with her in gym and we wouldn't really see spit other than when we first got in the class and when we were about to be dismissed sometime into me riding the bus um home or whatever i see spit sitting like in the first seat of the bus literally like the first or second seat and i had never seen him on my bus before i never like he never rode the bus until this day which it wasn't that far into the year or whatever like it was about to be football season so it was still fairly early in the year so i wasn't like surprised or nothing but i was just like what the hell first of all why is he sitting in the front like i've never seen nobody sitting in the, like the very first seat like that other than like people who were more quiet and stuff like that and he definitely was not quiet so when i get on the bus mind you we had talked in passing like I said so this isn't like the first time that I ever spoke to him or whatever because I probably wouldn't have spoken to him if we've just never spoken before damn can this why is it always doing that I need a new camera at this point and I'm sorry I keep touching my hair y'all it's really because I'm hot and I don't want to sweat my hair out because it's already slick sweating out I see him or whatever and I'm just like why are you sitting in the front of the bus like that like I'm just talking I've always been a nosy ass and I just wanted to know why he was sitting in the front of the bus like that <laughs> Like, I, it was given that he was embarrassed to ride the bus. Like, he wanted to sit in the front so he could just hop off. Like, come on. It's okay. We're still all in high school. It is okay. But he's all like, oh, something's wrong with my car. So, until my car gets fixed, I'm going to be riding the bus. And I was like, okay, but why are you sitting in the front of the bus? And he's like, you must want me to come sit in the back or something. He thought he ate that. Like, he really thought that was finna riz me all the way up. And I was just like, boy, no. I just was wondering why you sitting in the front of the bus. And that was it. That was it for that little interaction. I had walked back to the bus and sat down or whatever. And he had put his little headphones back on, listened to his little music. And then he got off the bus. So, he did live in my neighborhood, though. So, when he got off the bus, I noticed, like, I had peeped that he lived in my neighborhood. So, keep that in mind. I don't know if it was the next day or the next couple of days. Um, He's on the bus again. And I see him sitting more towards like the middle of the bus, not the back still, but like also not the front. So it was given that like he did that to get my attention or maybe I'm just delusional. I don't really know. But I feel like he knew I was going to say something and did. So I was like, I said something. I don't really remember exactly, but I said something like, if you want to sit in the back of the bus, just say that. Or like, if you wanted to sit back here, you can just sit back here or something like that. I don't really remember exactly. But um, I said something like that and he was like, oh, okay. And then he had moved closer to the back of the bus where everybody else was at and he had asked me for my snapchat now if this was 2020 or higher that would have immediately been a turn off for me because honestly at our big ass age if you are over i don't know 18 years old and you still use a snapchat what are you doing what are you doing i really do not understand that like snapchat to me is so boring i might post something like with a with a link to my social media or something now that i do social media but like if you're not using your snapchat to promote music or your social media why do you have snapchat 
what sneaky what freaky are you doing because snapchat is so just the app is just grimy to me like i don't know like that app just is to me when a nigga wants to show snapchat and that's the first thing he asked for you gonna get an unsolicited picture or he gonna start talking to you about coming over your house in, in the five minutes into the conversation like i just just nothing appropriate happens on snapchat if you ask me like i just do not like that app in 20 in 20 whatever it was 2015 2014 whatever it wasn't a red flag to me because i was using snapchat like that's what everybody was using and i felt like niggas didn't want to ask for your number straight off the bat they wanted your snapchat because they wanted to look cool and smooth like they don't really want you for real when they want you this little relationship was not a long one at all it was giving like month trial for a subscription like you know before they charge your car you do the little cancellation thing like it was giving like that like it wasn't a long i won't say a month exactly it might have been a couple of months or a little bit longer than that but it definitely was not given no long ass relationship or nothing like that it was not nothing serious or nothing like that but to me when i'm talking to somebody like back then even like i used to take it serious like i'm gonna take it serious if you're telling me you're only talking to me i'm gonna believe that you're only talking to me and i'm gonna expect you to only be talking to me if we start dating like relationship you cuff me and you're doing it and shit like that like that shit is like what are you doing that for i don't care if we a day in cut these cut this off yesterday like what? This is where naive Chessa comes in. Like this is where his riz was rizzing. So he was sliding up and he would say like, you know, hard eyes or whatever. But he would also like be being mean. Like he would be playful. Like, um, you think you cute laughing emoji, stuff like that. He wasn't like, it wasn't giving thirsty. Like, these are the type of pictures that you will get on freaking Snapchat. Like them little Tumblr boys that are like biting their lip in the mirror. And it's like streaks. Like, come on now. Oh shit. oh shit it was not given that so i was just just eating it up i was kind of nervous to be all like caked at school or whatever like i never really was caked up at school or nothing like that but with him like when we started to talk to each other and like we were talking more and more he was holding my hand on the bus he was like putting his arm around me on the bus we were laid up on the bus not laid up like Y'all know some some people would, would get on the bus and do some nefarious things, but not me. So we would just be little cutesy little, you know, little relationship goals, head ass on the bus and stuff like that. And like in the neighborhood, he would walk me to my house, stuff like that. But a red flag that I didn't really take note of, or maybe I did, but like I was okay with it because I was nervous anyways to like just pop out like that. Um, in school, he wouldn't really talk to me very much. Like, like he would speak to me. But he wasn't holding my hand in the hallway. He wasn't really hugging me. Like, it wasn't giving how he was on the bus or, like, in the neighborhood, which I didn't expect him to be trying to rump me in the middle of the hallway or nothing like that. But it just was, like, our school wasn't so strict on PDA and stuff like that. Like, you can't just be down somebody's throat kissing and stuff like that in the hallway. But, like, they did not care when people were holding hands. They did not care when people were arm around each other, like, kisses on the cheek. Like, there were relationships in high school. My high school wasn't just lame and stuff like that. Like... So I was like, mm, what's going on? But I wasn't really gonna try to harp on it or nothing like that because I didn't want to give, like, I still was aware that he was older than me. And, you know, like, it's sad, really, because older boys like that don't have no business talking to you and making you feel like you need to be more mature than you are or making you feel like, oh, should I move in a different way so he doesn't feel like I'm a little ass girl? Because I was a little ass girl. I was. So I was thinking like, I don't want to trip on him about some PDA and him be like, this little ass girl is tripping over holding hands. Like, how old are you? So I didn't want to say nothing about it, but it was just like, I was peeping it. Like in my head, I was making note of it. My little log in my head. And y'all know I can keep a pretty big log in my head. So I'm like, mm, I don't like this, but I'm going to take my time. Like, I'm going to see, you know, play it by ear or whatever. And I'm going to figure out whether I need to say something later on or not. Football season was coming up and I knew that he was on the team. I was excited to wear his little number. I felt like I was going to be, you know, them little Tumblr pictures. Like, I felt like I, we were going to be couple goals for real. And um, like I said, he lived in my neighborhood. But the way that it was, like... He said that he he had only lived with his dad or whatever and that his dad was um, always working from home and he didn't really want him bringing no girls over, stuff like that. Like, his dad was a pretty strict dad. He also was real serious about his football thing. Like, he was, you know, worried about scouts and he really wanted him to keep his head in the game. Like, it was giving, he's Tro Troy Bolton and his dad is the coach of the team. Like, it was just corny. Like, I know that that's basketball, but still, like, he was giving, like, he was finna go straight to the NFL, which maybe he is not in the NFL now, I do not think. So he was doing all that for no reason, literally for Nathan, which I wasn't really tripping off coming over because 
that took the pressure off of me feeling like he gonna try something with me because I definitely wasn't ready for that and I eventually I told him that I wasn't ready for that and he wasn't pressuring me or nothing like that so yeah I didn't really care and I couldn't really like I told y'all before my mom was pretty laid back like she wouldn't just let me have a boy over up in my room door closed stuff like that but she would let if I was dating a boy or talking to a boy she met them felt like they were you know respectable she would let them come over as long as the door is open or we're in the living room or whatever while she's home but I felt like if I brought him home she would be like who is this senior citizen that you're bringing to my house like he already looked older than what he was and he already was older than me so I felt like if I brought him home for one my brother would be like you got this grown ass man like he look my age damn near who is this nigga or my mom would be like girl why are you bringing home this grown ass adult to my house like i just didn't want to do all that first plus we had first just started talking so it wasn't that deep so we would just kick it like in the neighborhood in the neighborhood or whatever and he was telling me when his car got fixed we would go do little dates or whatever so i wasn't really pressed about us coming over especially with us going to school together and me seeing him every damn day at school i started to put my binder like i only brought a binder to school i didn't i wasn't one of those people who had like a freaking big old book bag with a bunch of stuff like i literally had this big ass binder with all of my um stuff in it and i would carry that or i might put that in a little tote and bring that to school but i didn't have a bunch of shit. so i had started putting it in his locker because he had a top locker and he had a locker upstairs like i guess the upperclassmen had a first choice of their lockers or whatever and my ninth grade year i remember my locker was downstairs like far as hell from the bus loop far as hell from everything literally so like i i literally used to be late to some of my upstairs classes because you know i wasn't used to walking upstairs and doing all that trying to find my classes and stuff and i i was new to the school and his was closer to like the gym and the cafeteria and the bus loop so i had started to put my stuff in there so i could just go boom 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 get my stuff and go to the bus and this one particular day he had like practice or whatever because sometimes he would ride the bus and sometimes he would stay after school for practice or whatever and their practice would run until like eight o'clock at night and but he would walk me to like the bus loop or whatever and then he would go to his practice so he walked me to my bus and i see like tubby too is in the bus loop talking to her friends like i see girls that i know knows him and i go to give him a little hug or whatever before i get on the bus and he gives me this side hug like like he hugging one of his homeboys like he's like he's like all right like what are you doing why are you first of all why are you tapping my back and why are you side hugging me when any other time that you give me a hug you give me a, a regular hug so what is this side hug that you're doing and again i at first i wasn't really gonna say nothing because i didn't want to look childish or whatever you want to call it but that pissed me off because it was giving like you acting like this because there's girls around like what what are you doing it just didn't like you might as well not hug me you might as well dap me up and, and fist bump me instead of giving me this side ass hug so i'm like what is this high side hug thing that you trying to do i'm like you slap your teammates on the ass more than you do me like y'all know how football players be slapping each other's butts and stuff like that i don't know i don't really know what what sus thing they be getting into with that but like I'm like, damn, you more intimate with your damn teammates and your homeboys than you are with me. What is this side hug? Like, are you trying to hide the fact that we talking? You embarrassed that you talking to me? Like, what, what is it giving? Like, what is your problem? And he's all like, no, no, no. Like, at first it's giving, he's finna stutter. Like, he can't even get the words out. But then he's like, no, like, I forgot to tell you my dad. Like, how I told you he'd be tripping on me. And he really be wanting me to keep my head straight and not be distracted. Um, he has my coaches. They be, they be like, watching out for me in school. Like, they be stalking me in school, spying on me in school. And they be going back and telling my dad when I'm doing stuff. And I don't want them telling my dad I'm all hugged up with you all the time. Because then he gonna think that you're a distraction from this football shit. Like, I don't know if he thought that this was all American or something like or i don't know if i thought this was all american because again i'm eating it up like i'm believing him y'all like it didn't sound too far-fetched which again we both we all know that chessa was dumb but it's also like my brother was a basketball player he would be aau he would play on the team like when he was in high school and stuff like that and my mom used to tell him like similar things like you know don't be going off with the wrong crowd you don't want to get distracted from your basketball stuff because my brother was really good like if he would have like stuck to basketball he put he probably could have went to the nba and I'm, i don't know if i'm biased just because i'm his sister but like he was really fine like on the team so she would tell him she didn't necessarily tell him like oh you can't talk to no girls like on some weird junk like that but she was like you know keep your head straight on your sports and your grades so you can like make something with it or whatever so i was like oh, okay i guess that makes sense like some parents are like that i have homegirls like that they're 
parents would tell the teachers to like tell them if they doing stuff with boys or tell them if they you know doing too much in school like basically giving elementary school like I had friends like that so I was like okay um I'm not gonna do too much I don't want to distract him I want to be a supportive girlfriend let me not do the most spit ends up having a football game that's coming up and I think it wasn't like the first first like it wasn't the scrimmage game it was like the first home game where everybody was gonna be there it was like a big deal or whatever and yeah so he don't tell me to wear his number or nothing like that but i uh, me being his girl or whatever i'm thinking like why wouldn't i you know what i mean like i guess i get that it's corny but like i was in high school what did y'all what did y'all think and y'all know well in my high school again like the upperclassmen would do the tailgating and stuff like that but like everybody would paint little numbers on their cheek like if they had a friend on the team or their boyfriend was on the team or whatever like they would do the little black stripes on the face like go, the whole nine or whatever my school was like big on like the football thing or whatever so i was excited because it was cute like the little like all that shit is cute so i was like okay i'm gonna surprise him and me being the giver that i am y'all it's so bad because like i could have been talking to a nigga for five minutes and if christmas is coming up baby your birthday is coming up if a holiday an event if something is coming up I'm gonna do the most. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to little Family Dollar or or Walmart or whatever. I'm gonna get a little wicker, uh, what's it called? Like little brown basket. I'm gonna put some Gatorade in there, his little favorite snacks, stuff like that. Right? So I'm like, okay, I put his let's say his his football number is 20. I put 20 on my cheek, I put 20 on I had these shorts on, I had put 20 on my thigh, and um yeah, I came with a little basket that had like a little card, like good luck on your first game like all the whole nine y'all it's very embarrassing thinking back to this especially considering what ends up happening is so freaking corny i did not know the first thing about football i damn near would have screamed God! when a freaking touchdown was made like i knew nothing the only sports that i knew at least a little bit about was basketball so football i was just watching and pretending i knew what was going on and I was sitting like basically where everybody who was actually watching the game was sitting, right? So with me sitting there, I can see down like there's like the little tailgaters, the little upperclassmen. They have their little shirts with the numbers on it, stuff like that. Mind you, there were probably like two girls that were standing in the tailgating area that had the number 20 on their shirt. But I thought like, okay, they're his friends. So that's cute. That's cool or whatever, I guess. But what caught my eye is Tubby too. So again, Tubby 2 is not the one that I was cool with in gym. Tubby 2 is the one that was the manager of the football team. There were two managers of the football team. I didn't know the other girl and Tubby was the other one. So like I said, they sit with the team. Like I don't know if that's just the new word for water boys, but they were basically water boys. And Telly, Teletubby 2 or Tubby 2 was sitting down there like on the bench with the team, giving them water, giving them Powerade. And I, I don't know if it was like part of their little jobs to have like you know to represent one of the players or if they just did that on their own like to do the tailgating type of thing or what but tubby too had the number 20 on her little bralette she had like these booty shorts a bralette and paint and stuff like that and she had the number 20 on her little bralette which i seen because she had ended up turning around during the game and i seen it on her shirt and she's like cheering she's cheering for not just him but she's cheering for him and for a couple other people on the team and I'm just like, mm, this is a little weird to me. Like, I, she's going harder for him than I am. What's going on here? I'm uncomfortable. So this is where y'all probably assume I jumped over the gate, grabbed her, and started bing, bing, bing. No, I was crazy, but not that crazy yet, y'all. Like, I wasn't, I wasn't really, I wasn't really fighting nobody. Like, or I wasn't gonna fight nobody unless somebody wanted to fight with me. Like, if somebody was like, I wanna fight you, then that's different. Or if somebody hits me, then that's different. But I wasn't finna go out of my way to fight somebody over no nigga unless they wanna smoke with me first. Like, I was just peeping game and I was like, mm, I don't wanna assume. Y'all, I was really just blinded and, and not by love, just by having a crush. Like, I was like, okay, he, he not finna do me, like, he's not stupid, you know what I mean? Like, He's not stupid, I hope. Halftime comes around or whatever, and obviously the team can't go up to the concessions and stuff like that, but the little managers and everybody else can. So I see Tubby too and the other manager girl heading up the little stands to go towards the concession. So I'm thinking they finna go, you know, get a snack or whatever. So I start following Tubby too up the stands to see where she's headed or whatever. And I'm not stupid. I was there by myself. I didn't have no homegirls there with me. None of my friends could have came to the game with me. So I was just there by myself, purely there to support 
spit dumbass so i'm walking up the stands and i see tubby too going to the little bathrooms that they had behind the little stadium by herself so i'm like okay bet i'm not gonna go in there if she's going in there with her homegirls so that they can jump me no not that dumb so she goes in there by herself so i go in there and she's at the little mirror or whatever doing whatever she's doing and i'm like hey am i tripping or did i get spit's number wrong because i see like we both wearing the number 20 and she's like oh no this is spit's number and she was like but why are you wearing it and i was like bar like what do you mean why am i wearing it because he's my nigga like what what kind of question is that obviously i'm wearing it because that's my man and y'all she looked at me so stupid like she looked at me like and then she walks out like like the the how fast that happened it was just like i couldn't even think like i said because that's my nigga and she goes like she blinks she blank stares me and then walks out of the bathroom so i'm like mm, what does that look mean what was that supposed to mean am i the only one that knows that this is my nigga am i the only one that knows that we're in a relationship right now my friends knew and i thought his friends knew and people knew but i guess i guess i was mistaken so i find him after the game or whatever and before i have a chance to even ask him like about that little interaction i had with tubby too he takes his little basket he thanks me he gives me a little, another little side hug and he's like i gotta go my family wants to go to waffle house or something like that they wanted to go somewhere to eat applebee's or something and he's like i'm gonna call you when i get home so i'm just like okay like he does all that he runs or whatever off the field with his family and that's very quick and i'm not gonna lie y'all i remember being so like sad because i was just like ew like i came here hella supportive he basically gave me his ass to kiss like it was just like on some like oh okay thank you like he wasn't stunting it and i really was not the only girl there wearing his damn number he didn't say like hi have me say hi to his parents none of that like it was really just given like i came there for no reason literally and those games were like damn 20 damn dollars 10 dollars 20 dollars so i was like damn like i just wasted my time i had to sit there by myself wait for my brother to come pick me up it was just not cute he calls me or whatever and long story short he's on the phone like i tell him what happened or whatever he's like oh like i didn't tell her or i didn't tell nobody about it because or like she's part of the team technically because she's a manager and she'd be talking to the coaches and stuff i don't want her to slip up and say you know i have a girlfriend and then the coach tell my dad like that's the only reason why she could have looked confused or whatever because she just didn't know we just cool it's nothing like that that's my home girl like we've been gone to school together since we were kids like it's nothing like that i see her as one of my niggas like it's like that he's just gaslighting me basically because i'm boo boo the fool and i'm gonna eat it up and i'm like okay i guess she could tell the coach accidentally or on purpose on some shit, so i'm not even gonna trip but in my head i'm like she know now so it don't really matter so she gonna tell she gonna tell because i told her so yeah spit ends up texting me on one random saturday or whatever and he's like oh my dad isn't home and he's not gonna be home for a while so if you want to come over like you can come over i want to show you my my room or whatever and i'm not thinking nothing of it like because i we had a we had already had a conversation about like basically me not being comfortable with you know losing my v card yet or anything like that and i was like i don't think that it's gonna happen this year like I, this is probably like in his head when he decided like i'm gonna see i'm gonna test that that theory and see if she's capping and like is she going or if she's not going and i'm gonna make my decision on how i'm gonna do her after that like this is probably when he just decided what he was gonna do in his head but yeah i had told him like i hopefully you plan to you know talk to or like be with me long term because if you want the cooter then you're gonna have to wait because i'm not i'm not ready for that yet and he's acting like he's okay with waiting he's like okay like it's no pressure on that like when it happens it happens i'm not gonna pressure you like i'm not that type of guy so i'm like okay again mm -mm -mm. so i'm like all right cool so i'm like all right i'll come over and see your little room or whatever I, I go outside he walks me to his house and we get to his house immediately we get there he puts on something on the tv like in the living room he's like do you want some juice he gives me some juice and then he's like he sits on the couch or whatever and we get all caked up and you know what i'm saying we kissing or whatever doing a little kissy kissy or whatever nothing more and then he's like come on and then he like walks to his room or whatever i get in his room y'all i'm thinking it's gonna be football trophies rewards not a rule not rewards bitch this isn't kroger awards and freaking decoration something cool something like at least a goddamn 
PS4, PS2, whatever it is, like a Wii, something. I get in there, it's barren. Like it looked like he just moved there or it looked like it was giving like jail cell. There was nothing on the wall. There was no decorations. There was nothing in there but his bed and a damn TV. So I'm like, this is what you wanted to show me? And he was like, just come here or whatever. And he gonna get on his bed. And I'm like, looking at him like, I'm looking at him probably with like the most disgusted face ever. And I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, just come here or whatever. Like, I just wanted to come in here instead of being in there. And I'm like, boy, I'm not stupid. Like I might be young or whatever, younger than you, but I'm not dumb. Like I'm not about to get in your bed with you when we were just kissing on the couch. Like I told you I'm not ready for that. Like I told you I'm not finna do that. So he just tries to brush it off like it was a little joke or whatever. And he's just like, I'm not trying to do that. Like, I just, I said, come here. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just saying, like, you can come here. And I was like, no. Like, I had to put my foot down, y'all. Which, if you think about it, it could have turned really, like, into a bad situation. But it didn't. I was just like, no. And he was like, all right. Like, it's, I'm not tripping. Like, it's cool. Like, we can go. Let's go. Like, he said something like, let's go before my dad ends up coming back or whatever. So, in my head, like, I clocked that as a red flag for sure. I was like, mm. But at the same time, which is bad, I know. But I was kind of like, boys are going to be boys. Like, he tried. He tried and he failed. So, as long as he don't, like, he's not trying to force me or nothing like that. Like, I didn't really think it was too big of a deal. As long as it didn't happen again type shit. But that should have been enough for me to be like, mm-mm. Because I already told you I wasn't into that. And you try anyways to try to convince me or, like, sway me. That's not cute. And he's like all right, I'm gonna walk you home or whatever because my dad finna come back and I'm like, okay. And I have like a little weird feeling in my stomach. Like, my, you know, my, my women's intuition or my little girl intuition at the time was kind of like, mm, that's not good. Like, I don't know where this is going, like this this relationship or whatever. But I was just like, okay, we get to school or whatever and this is a day that he has practice. Like, this is the next day after that situation happens. So we get to school, he goes to practice, he like walks me to the bus loop or whatever and then he goes. And I see Tubby too, which this this was a day where I don't know like if it's normal but my bus was always some like not always but sometimes my bus would be delayed like it would be 10 minutes later or whatever later than all the other buses or later than the bus is supposed to come so sometimes I would be sitting like standing by the little double doors to go out to the bus loop like standing in the little common cafeteria area like because I could still see my bus from there but it was still inside so I was standing in there and I saw Tubby too walking from the bus loop to go I guess with the boys to the practice I don't know why the managers had to go to practice with them and stuff like I don't or I don't know if they had to or if they just did but she was walking towards um that way or whatever and I see her mugging me like she's mugging me bad like she's making it stink like she's like and I'm like at this point I'm fed up because she's always giving me looks and stuff but she don't ever say nothing to me for real and we had already had that little conversation at this point she know that I'm talking to what's his name so I'm like okay something's got to give so I'm like what the are you looking at like who are you looking at like that she says like little girl don't talk to me as she's walking away mind you she's walking away saying this she's like little girl don't talk to me and she says something under her breath that i didn't really pick up so i'm like girl how you gonna be talking walking away and i can't even hear you and she turns around and she's like i said don't be mad at me because your man don't even want you and i'm like girl what are you talking about what are you talking about so i'm like what the is you talking about she said something like you can't even give him what i've been giving him what do you mean by that huh girl what is you talking about because you better not be talking about you better not be talking about the goodies you better not be talking about the goodies because what do you mean been giving him you've been giving him what you been giving him the only thing you better be giving him is them damn power rays at them games girl what do you mean so i'm like i'm looking at her funny i'm like what and in my head i'm like it's clicking i'm like there's no way she's referring to the situation where he tried to get the cootie cat and he did it because that would have meant that he told her and that would have meant that she's giving it to him like he ain't stupid right i miss my bus and i walk down to where his practice is and i try to get to him like to where the locker rooms and the um field is and stuff like that but it's like blocked off or whatever and i get stopped by coach or somebody that's over there watching over the practice and they're like oh if you're not part of the team you can't come back here during practice time and so i end up having to call my brother to pick me up or whatever i, I end up having to stay there for like an hour waiting for my damn brother and mind you football practice don't get over for some hours like four hours like till eight o'clock at night so i'm mad as fuck. i'm tight so i'm like oh my god and he didn't have his phone during his practice like he was not on his phone during his practice 
So I couldn't even text him at that time. So I'm just heated and my brother ends up eventually coming to pick me up and I go home or whatever. So when I get home, I text him this paragraph basically saying like, you ain't Um, if shorty's telling the truth, you dirty as fuck, you ain't shit for that, that's nasty. And even if she's lying about doing something with you, you had no business telling her like that foul that you told her that I didn't do nothing with you like you just move weird you're weird you're weird if you just wanted one thing you should have said that so I could have left you alone and you could have been with the gnat that you already messing with obviously like I end up blocking his number or whatever like mm -mm. I already told you how I am once I get an ick like the type of ick that you're messing with another girl I'm through with you that is automatic turn off I want nothing to do with you you're dirty you're nasty so yeah if I'm lying I'm flying and my butt is stuck to the seat when I get to school the next day, y'all, he didn't text me off no little fake numbers or nothing. He didn't say nothing. None of that. I get to school and Tubby Tool and Spit are caked up. Like, I'm talking about she's at his locker. He's holding her hand the whole night. So I'm in my head. Now I'm even more upset. And I'm like, okay, so this whole his dad has coaches spying on him thing. All of this was for fake. Like, he did all of that just trying to get in my pants and he failed miserably but like you you did all of that just to try to get some some fresh meat some freshman coochie are you for real y'all know in the movies where like a girl gets fired and she gets replaced with another girl and that girl's handing her her box of stuff from the office like she handed me back my freaking binder out of the damn locker and was like um i don't know why you ever thought he was your man like i let him with you basically she was basically saying like oh he was only talking to you because i let him which girl even if that's true that is so sad like you knew your man wanted some some cootie cat from a freshman and you let him go mess with me before y'all start talking again if y'all had if y'all had some history together or something like what are you talking about what are you talking about so i was just like girl it's easier to f with you than to f with me so i don't really blame him and i took my shit and i walked the fuck away because she wasn't one of them girls who was like a fighter or nothing like I wasn't finna hit her for saying nothing like that. Like, I'm not about to give you the satisfaction of, like, feeling like you really getting under my skin or, like, you really eating me up. Especially about this dude who licks his lips all day. Like, it's really not that deep. It never, it never gave that. You can have him because you're easier to be with than me. Like, it's cheaper to keep her. You know what I mean? Like, go ahead and be with him. I don't care, girl. And you're not gonna, you're not gonna beat my ass. So, I really don't care what you're talking about. She really thought I was finna be 13 reasons why about this ugly ass dude. Like, I do not care, baby. I don't. I mean, I cared a little bit, but not for real. They end up dating, what, a month, two months, or whatever. And he's still, like, messing with me on the bus. Not messing with me like that, but he's still talking to me on the bus. Like, trying to make little funny comments. Trying to kiki with me or whatever. And just for the satisfaction in my own head. Like, girl, you really did all of that just for your man to still be trying to kiki in my face i would kiki back with him on the bus or whatever it wasn't really nothing that deep so he ends up cheating on tubby two with tubby one the girl that i was cool with in gym and the way that i found this out is we were in the gym together like i was still kicking it with tubby one or whatever spit ends up running up to like running up the stands during our gym class or whatever and i'm thinking he's running up there to mess with me like to bother me or whatever but he ends up running up there and like hugging up on tubby one so i'm like okay this dude is ran through she belongs to the streets like literally he is like homie hopping at this point like this is my like not my home girl for real but like we're cool you've seen us be cool like what are you doing like he's so ran through so he gives her a hug or whatever and i'm looking kind of confused and she's like oh girl i forgot to tell you like me and spit are talking or whatever and i'm just like oh i thought he was talking to tubby too and she's like oh no and she starts dragging tubby too so i'm like oh, okay this girl not finna try to start no drama with me because like i didn't want no drama with her not on some scary junk but like just because i literally did not care she wasn't one of my friends for real none of these is my friends for real and like i'm not surprised for real because that's just how girls are like if we were home girls for real like we were close friends then i would have had a problem with her like but i didn't really care and i was so over him at this point like i probably already had a new nigga probably by the next couple days like talking to somebody else already i did not care so she starts dragging tubby too she's like oh no that hoe ran through like nah he stopped he stopped talking to her like he was never really effing with her for real like i don't know who this man thinks that he is but i guess he was him at this time because he really was playing with all of us not really me anymore because i was not about to be played with after the fact but like he was playing with her and he was still like, i would see him still talking to tubby too while he was talking to tubby one and stuff like that so i'm just like okay 
and then boom one day on the bus um spit finds himself asking me like oh do you miss me like he he was so cocky like i believe he probably was a narcissist like the way that he acted was just very corny so like i said we would kiki on the bus from time to time but like at this point i was so just over his mess that i was like i wasn't talking to him he would make little comments to me and i would ignore him and then this one day he says like so you miss me and i was like nigga i don't miss you like don't you have another girlfriend at this point? Like, you need to stop messing with me because I'm a snitch on you. Like, I was just playing though, y'all. I said it way more playful than that. But, like, I guess something clicked in his head or something because his face, like, he's, he was, like, looking like he's seeing a damn ghost when I said that. I was like, you better stop messing with me before I snitch on you. And I was, I swear y'all, I was playing. I'm not going to snitch on you for real, but leave me alone. Like, I felt like me saying that, he would leave me alone. And he did leave me alone. But I guess he went and told Tubby One that I had told him I missed him or something like that because she found herself trying to confront me in gym the next day and was like, So why is Spit telling me that you flirting with him on the bus telling him that you miss him? So I'm like, first of all, I don't really care too much to clear anything up. Like when girls found themselves trying to confront me in high school or just in school in general, I am not the type of girl who's going to go out of my way to like go to the ends of the earth to try to prove to you that I didn't say something because like if I did, what are you going to do about it? Like not even on no like trying to be all hard, but like literally if I said, yeah, I said that, what are you going to do? But like I also wasn't messy to be like, yeah, I said that if I didn't, you know what I mean? Like I'm going to just tell you I didn't say something. And if you don't believe me, you don't believe me. I immediately like laughed in her face because it was truly comedy to me because literally he asked me if I missed him and I said no and to leave me alone before I snitched on him to his So I'm laughing in her face and I'm like, girl, no the fuck I didn't. He asked me if I missed him and she cut me off and was like, see, your little ass is scary. You denying it. You better stop flirting with my nigga before I really beat your ass. I was trying to be cool with your ass, but you don't know how to leave the niggas alone. Like. Girl, shut the fuck up. You thought you ate that? <laughs> She just started going up, going in my face or whatever, and she says, when she as soon as she says, before I beat your ass, what y'all think I said? You do it again, I'm gonna rock your world in this mother. So rock it. You put your fucking hands on me again. So rock it. Put your hands on me again. Rock it. I'm like, beat my ass. Like, I'm like, girl, you're not finna beat my ass. Beat my ass. Beat my ass. Because you don't need to be checking me. You need to be checking y'all's man. Because he talking to both y'all at the same time. Asking me if I miss him and shit. Like, y'all don't need to be. You don't need. I'm not the one you need to be worried about, girl. Be my ass, though. You think you, you saying you're going to be my ass, so beat it. And she's just like. I'm not about to fight no little girl. I'm not going to keep arguing with your little You little Stay in your little place. In your lane. Stay in your lane. Stay in a child's place. Y'all, girls used to always say. Stay in a child's place to a younger girl like you're not eating like you're telling me stay in a child's place and you are arguing me with a man that's your age that was talking to my child like you how you're dating a creep like why are you worried about me i promise you i'm not the girl you gotta worry about i do not want your nigga i already had him and he was weird you didn't think i was gonna come at you with that energy because you older than me you didn't think i was gonna come at you with that same energy because i'm a little girl but this little girl is gonna come at anybody with any type of energy because i'm not like you might win the fight because the girl was bigger than me I don't know, probably not, because I don't, you know, I, I done fought a girl bigger than me before. But it's like, girl, I'll lose a fight before I punk out of a fight. That's number one. So I'm like, okay, girl. And that's really the end of the story. He ends up dating her for like the whole rest of the year or whatever. He doesn't talk to me. He don't bother me no more. He got his car fixed. He was riding in his car and stuff like that. And like, they never bothered me again. She never said nothing else to me about it for the rest of the school year. They ended up graduating or whatever. But this is where the weird shit continued tubby too the one that i wasn't cool with at first she found herself tweeting something like because my like a, i guess there was like a viral tweet of me or whatever um like my loyalty test or whatever somebody had posted my loyalty test somebody that i didn't know or whatever and like they were just sharing it and she had quoted the little tweet or whatever and she was like chessa always liked talking to boys who had girlfriends or something like that she always liked talking to somebody's man something like that y'all i had to scroll back this is 2020 um it says that the tweet that she made was deleted by the tweet author or whatever but i quote tweeted her and i was like you're proud of being a i'm gonna put it on the screen and block out his name or whatever but i was like in high school you were dating my nigga blank cheated on me with you you clown and then i say you're proud of being a side b word i left him he got with you and then was still trying to f with me that's when you slid in my dm all mad back in like 2017 let's not go there little boy and then I said, so doesn't that make you the one meddling in relationships? But I'm the bozo. LOL. I thought of who, I thought of 
bitch who said she didn't want to fight said something. Because I told her, I had asked her if she wanted to fight me and she said she wasn't finna fight me. Like, come on now, y'all. I'm telling y'all these story times, be real, baby. I be having receipts. I be having, like, the tweets are still up. Obviously, her tweets are deleted. But the timestamps are here. 7, 21, 20, 6, 55 p.m. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Comment other videos that you guys want to see from me. Turn on the post notification bell so you never miss when I post a video. Follow me on all my social medias that are in the link tree in the description box below. Except for my Instagram. I'm not on Instagram right now. But you can follow my Twitter and my TikTok. Ooh. And y'all, when I be saying to comment other videos you want to see from me, please do. Because I know y'all like story time. Some of y'all like vlogs. I want to know what other content you guys like. Would y'all like me to do subscriber story times? Like, I know a lot of people who do story times on here do subscriber story times too. And I, I want to join the gang and do it. Um, I'll obviously put my little twist to it or whatever. But let me know if y'all are interested in that. Just for, you know the in-betweens of my story times and oh let me know if y'all want the story time of when i fought somebody at a drive-thru that's really ghetto but like y'all i'm a changed woman but let me know if y'all want that story time and yeah i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video also if you guys want promo small businesses and my supporters only if you guys want promo definitely email me in the email that's in my bio if you want a loyalty test email me in the email that's in my bio and i will be responding to everybody please do not email me for like just to be like i love you hey you guys can comment that in the comment section i literally respond to you guys i heart y'all's y'all's comments i try to heart every comment on my videos if y'all go look at my comment section i definitely should be showing love and talking to you guys there so you guys do not have to email me any extra fluff because it it makes it harder for me to see the people who really want, you know, the promo and stuff like that. So, yeah. I love you guys so much. And I'm going to catch you on the next video. Bye.